Thank you. Thanks, uh, thanks to Kevin, too. This, uh, this feels good to be back. Hope everybody's enjoying themselves. It's great to see everybody here. Uh, I know I'm here to have a, have a, uh, have a really good day. Um, visiting out with other coaches and, uh, and also just seeing the players. I don't, uh, they've made it really special. This is a really special thing for the players who get to come to this media day, represent their teams. Uh, but to see them in the locker room is, uh, Kevin's got a set up and the staff has a set up in the, in the Colts locker room with each of their jerseys there and uh, got a gift bag and their name on the locker. And every single guy is, is taking a picture uh, with their phone. So uh, just want to thank Kevin, the entire Big Ten staff uh, for, for putting this on and excited to be here. Got three great guys uh, with us today. Uh, Aiden Hutchinson, uh, all-American uh, type football player. Uh, also, Hassan Haskins um, and Josh Ross. All three of those players are real football players. Um, true football players, freaky in, in, uh, in the nature of their athletic ability uh, compared with their strength, force that they, they put out. Um, and I can say all three guys, uh, you know, even even better guys than than football players. Uh, so, no speech. Uh, we can go right to right to questions. Sounds good, Coach. If you have a question, please raise your hand, nice and high. We'll start here in the front with the blue shirt. Trevor Woods, Mason Brew, Coach. You have a you've had a number of new coaching hires this off season. Could you talk about what they bring to the program? Yeah, thanks, Trevor. Um, so uh, there have been a number of new hires uh, on the coaching staff. The thing that uh, I think they all have in common is uh, just what they know about football, you know, the experience, the teachers that they are. Um, and the other thing is just how they've come together, you know, really uh, the, the trust. When I sit in the defensive room, uh, and Mike McDonald, our, our coordinator, is uh, is talking, and there's there's input coming from uh, Coach Clink and uh, and George Hilo and uh, uh, Sean Nua. The uh, the dialogue that's that's going on in the room is is really tremendous. Um, there's uh, Coach Bellamy uh, as well has brought so much, and there no, nobody's a Nobody's afraid to talk. Nobody's afraid to, to put their opinion out there, and uh, and it, it gets batted around. Um, I love that. There's there's tremendous uh, analysts: Doug Mallory, uh, Coach Oz, uh, Joe Stab. It's, it's it's a it's a really good room. The GAs, uh, uh, Dylan and Steve. I mean, it's uh, it's a uh, almost like a scrimmage, almost like the you know. The, Scrimmage is going on, ideas are flowing and, and getting talked through, and uh, you know it's a it's a fun, exciting room. You can tell that there's trust. You can tell that there's trust in the room. Guys can can uh, you know speak their mind and uh, and be heard, and then they they bat it around and they get to uh, they get to a good good uh, good result. So uh, you know that's been that's been tremendous, and I see the same thing offensively too. Uh, you know you know common question. I mean. I, Josh, Josh Gaddis going into his third year as the offensive coordinator. And the uh, thing I noticed most about that room, that, that the trust he has in the other coaches on the offensive side of the ball and the trust that we all have in, in Josh and, uh, you know, the same kind of free-flowing dialogue and, um, you know, looking at the, looking at the tape, you know, your, your scheme and you're putting in ideas. Uh, but that... That same kind of energy, that that same kind of uh, trust, you know, is there. Sharon Moore, um, coaching the offensive line. Jay Harbaugh, Mike Hart, uh, you know, all all respected, all valued, uh, doing a doing a heck of a job. Uh, Matt Weiss has been a great addition, uh, coaching the quarterbacks, and um, and also Steve Casula. Uh, Analyst on offense, uh, you know, I love him. I love what he brings. Uh, Kyle Devan, what he brings. 
uh, you know, to be in those meetings, both offensively and defensively, and and see the the interaction, see the dialogue, see the see the trust uh, has been uh, has exceeded you know, my hopes and expectations. Coach, we'll keep rolling to your right, white shirt. Then we'll go to Bill Bender. Hey, good afternoon, Coach. How you doing? This is Mike Moore with uh, on the on the on the move with Sports Cows Media. Uh, I just want to start by saying, go blue. And Blue, always. Absolutely. I know there's a great quarterback competition that's going on right now. I know with the departure of Shea, um, Milton transferring, um, it's actually good to see that you got uh, several bodies back there competing for the job. So kind of looking at what do you look for besides leadership? What kind of attributes do you look for a starting quarterback and to uh, get that intense last game of the season win? Well, you may, you, you mentioned some, uh, some of the, the great qualities that you need, you know, as, as a quarterback, uh, you know, being able to, to move the team, uh, being able to put the ball, you know, putting points on the board, drives, uh, you know, good at 11 on 11 football, um, you know, making everybody else around you better. I mean, that's, those are the, the things you, you look for in a quarterback and somebody that takes command, uh, you know, is that, is that, that leader on the field when the offense is out there, I mean, coaches, you're kind of the 12th man trying to put guys in position to be successful, but that that quarterback uh, is the uh, you know he's the he's the straw that's that's stirring the drink. So uh, um, right now, Cade McNamara is, uh, has done a tremendous job. He played in some games last year and and uh, did very well. Um, went through spring practice and and was outstanding. Um, so he's. He's our number one quarterback going into fall camp. Uh, you talk about taking the reins and, and leadership. That's that's something he, he has done. Uh, he has been he has been that guy throughout the entire spring and and the training cycle in the summer uh, by example and also pulling other guys along with him. He's uh, he's a fiery competitor. He's got that uh, he's got that gene, you know that. Uh, that uh, he must, must win, must give it his best uh, at all times. And then J.J. McCarthy has those very, some of those very same qualities and uh, did, a, did an excellent job in spring practice. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's fighting. You know, he is, uh, and he's got the athletic ability and uh, the arm talent to, you know, to get it done. But... Kate McNamara is not letting him take it away. Uh, and that's probably the best thing, you know, for, uh, for our team and for, for J.J. and all of us. So um, you know, that's, that's where we stand, as I see it, at quarterback Dan Valari. Uh, you know, is a, is a big, strong, good athlete uh, who has been improving his, uh, his throwing mechanics and, and um, accuracy velocity uh you know getting to the point where he can he can make all the throws uh very effectively as well um and also uh you know want to see him uh contribute on special teams as well i mean why be the why uh get on the field you know help the team in any any possible way that you can i mean uh yeah the obvious example is going to be you know what Taysom hill has been able to do um uh, maybe maybe every football team is looking for that uh, and I think we got that, uh, you know, in a, in a guy like uh, Dan Valari that can be a can be a dual threat quarterback and, and contribute to the team on on special teams. But it's you know that's in his hands how how uh, how much of a desire he has to do that. Um, Alan Bowman uh, transferring in uh, has had a good summer cycle. Um, haven't uh, heard good things, and uh, you know I like his I like his energy, I like uh, you know confidence that he has, the experience that he has. Uh, he's, he's played in, played in a lot of football games. Uh, tough guy and uh, excited to watch, uh, watch him compete when we go to start the training camp. But that's, uh, that's uh, pretty much where we're at, at the quarterback position. And uh, there's actually a couple other guys I, I really like too and, and are doing a nice job, but hopefully that answers it. We'll go to the center with Bill Bender. We'll come up front, and then we'll go to Bill Rabinowitz. Uh, Bill. Coach, um, with uh, Coach McDonald, what did uh, 
maybe you – I'm over here. Sorry. Where? Right here. Okay. Right here. Okay. Right the podium. Um, with Coach McDonald, I mean, what did you observe and maybe were impressed with most when he was with your brother in Baltimore, and how do you envision him maybe changing your defense philosophically, at least in the early stages? <clears throat> uh, yeah, the um, – Hadn't been around Mike a lot, except, you know, the times I had gone to Baltimore and visited there and, and talked talk some football. Um, you know, my brother, uh, my brother John was, was like, yeah, this, this is the guy I would hire, um, you know, and uh, probably would be our next defensive coordinator um, here in Baltimore after, after Wink. Um, and... What he, what he liked about him, what he told me when I asked him what he liked about him, he really smart. He was, he was in on the ground floor of, of the Ravens when they, when they changed their defense, invented their, their, their v defense in, in their scheme. Uh, very detailed and um, very good teacher. So, uh, you know, that uh, had gotten a lot of recommend, recommendations from a lot of people that I really trust in football, that I've worked with and know uh, extremely well. I mean, uh, guys, I love like a brother. Um, but uh, all that being said, you know, this came from this came from from John. So, uh, and I even asked him, hey, John, I mean, that's that's you know, it's pretty awesome that you would recommend somebody you think so highly of that's on your staff. And he said, well, you know, I, re I really I really love Michigan football, and I really love you. So uh, I want to see you both be successful. And uh, and then. Then, of course, started talking to Mike uh, through the interview process. Ward, uh, Ward was involved as well, and, and we, uh, we really felt Mike you know, was, was, uh, was great, what we were looking for. And, um, and then you know, since that hire, you know, it's, it's worked out even better than I had it hoped. Um, tremendous at, at uh, coaching uh, pretty much all the positions on defense. And uh, really good uh, communicator, really good uh, um, installer, really good on the field, um, really good at identifying uh, traits in players and where they can, uh, you know, be plugged into, uh, and then moved around. I mean, so that so that an offense can't say, well, Aiden Hutchinson's going to be there. You know, he could be there. He could be there. He could be, you know, all options are open um and then uh you know as i said when i first first started talking uh you know, just the way he's involved the entire defensive staff uh the trust that they built in a, in a very short time the way they communicate uh, you know it's uh it's been better than i had hoped we have time for two more we'll go down to the third row on the right in the blue shirt and we'll end with bill Rabinowitz. hi coach matt kennedy minnesota daily um losing Quiddy pay a first round draft pick it's never easy but the good news is you got Aiden back so talk to me about um, how he has been um, this summer in practice just been a leader and how he's going to take your defense to the next level yeah and uh, we don't look at it as losing a guy uh, you know the uh, Quiddy, Quiddy graduated uh, you know he's going on playing right here Right here in Indianapolis, so so proud of him. I and mean, he's a guy, uh, you know, that that all the right things matter. Thinks about all the right things. Talking about Quiddy Pay, and then that is also uh, Aiden Hutchinson in, in the very same way. Uh, true football player, real football player. Uh, that's a big 267-pound guy that can uh, can move, move laterally, move forward, move backwards, uh, move low, move quick. I mean, he's got tremendous force, acceleration, mass, uh, and, uh, and, a, and a great desire, you know, uh, to be good and to have his teammates be good. We talk about leadership. I mean, pulling other guys, pulling other guys in, uh, holding himself accountable, accountable, other guys accountable. Um, it's, it's the kind of player that, as a coach, you know, if you're sitting down, you're rolling up in your chair. If you're standing up, I'm, like, leaning forward here to tell you that, yeah, this is one of my, this is one of my absolute favorite guys, uh, you know, that, that I've coached, um, you know, and for all the right reasons, you know, he, uh, he does everything that you'd want 
him to do. You know, he he uh, gets the best grades, uh, wins the most awards, you know, excels at sports, and he's a and he's a really good guy. You know, and a great family honors his dad, but he's he's also setting his own legacy. I mean, it's it's all A plus plus. We'll close to your left, Bill. Hi, Jim. Bill Rabinowitz from the Columbus Dispatch. Right in towards the center left. Hi, Jim. Hi, Bill. You've won a lot of games, but you haven't beaten Ohio State. You haven't won the Big Ten Championship. Where do you think the program stands right now? Uh, What steps need to be taken to take that next step? And do you feel rejuvenated by the coaching changes? Well, I'm here before you. I mean, I'm as uh, enthusiastic and excited as I've ever am, always am, uh, you know, even more, um, you know, to have at it, to, uh, you know, to win the championship, to, uh, you know, to, to win the, beat Ohio, your, your, uh, your hometown there, uh, you know, our rivals, Michigan State, uh, you know, everybody, that's, that's what we want to do, and, uh, and we're going to do it or die trying, you know, it's like, uh, I saw my, my daughter this uh, summer, we were going up this, um, we were climbing, Sarah, Addie, and I were going up this, this, this mountain. It was like a mountain climb. I don't know how high it was, but it was, it was pretty high. I mean, we probably did 15,000 steps to get up there. She was counting it on her phone. And, and uh, we we're getting up close to the top. And, we, and she said, we got an apex, Dad. We've we got to get to the top. You're darn right we do. You know, we got to get there. That's what we got to do. we got to apex this, and we got to get to the top. She's got that gene in her. Uh, and I was darn glad to see it. And uh, I can tell you, I got that gene in me. And uh, some of the guys we talked about here already, Aiden Hutchinson and Hassan, Josh, Josh Ross, and a lot of others, you know, we got that gene in us. You know, we got we to gotta get, get to the top. Coach, thank you. Have a fantastic season. Thank you. 